and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Taliban ready to restart Kabul airport operations in few days. The United States finished the evacuation of civilians from Kabul and their entire mission in Afghanistan on August 30. Taliban to restart operations at Kamad Karzai International Airport. Kabul's airport will be operational within days. Taliban took over Kabul and entire Afghanistan on August 15. Taliban representative announced today that Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport will resume normal operation in just a few days. We are ready to resume the airport's operation. We will do it within days, Anas Haqqani, a ranking member of the Taliban said in an interview. Haqqani described the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan as a great event and called the day when evacuation ended a historical day. The United States finished the evacuation of civilians from Kabul and their entire mission in Afghanistan on August 30. The decision to end the U.S. operation in Afghanistan that began in October 2001 and became the longest U.S. overseas campaign in history was announced by President Joe Biden on April 14, 2021. After this decision was announced, the Taliban embarked on an offensive against Afghan government forces. On August 15, Taliban fighters swept into Kabul without encountering any resistance, and gained full control over the Afghan capital within a few hours. Hamid Karzai International Airport, also known as HKIA, is located 3.1 miles 5 kilometers from the city center of Kabul in Afghanistan. It serves as one of the nation's main international airports and as one of the largest military bases, capable of housing over 100 aircraft. Hamid Karzai International Airport was previously named Kabul International Airport and locally as Khwaja Rawash Airport, though it continues to be officially known by some airlines by the latter name. The airport was given its current name in 2014 in honor of former President Hamid Karzai. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.